What's up guys, I'm here with a new WWE Supercard video, and as you can see, the People's Champion Challenge is coming up this Thursday, it's gonna be Goldust versus Stardust, and Goldust is an upwards yellow triangle, Stardust is a bottom yellow triangle, so in terms of stats though, I put them up, or wrote them up, on notepad here, and Goldust has 845 power, 851 toughness, 844 speed, and 893 charisma for a total of 3,433. That's his overall. And then for Stardust, he's got 839 power, 839 toughness, so the same thing, 866 speed, and 890 charisma for a total of 3,434. So one more point overall than the Goldust card. Only one point, so that it's not that big of a difference. But personally, I'd, I'd probably go with the Stardust card because I need a... And that's if I get the Stardust card. The past two People's Champion challenges haven't gone too well for me. Um, I haven't just had enough time, and also, I guess I haven't really felt the need to get the card. Um, although it would really help me out, I just... I don't know, uh, I just haven't tried, I guess, as, as hard or spent, no, not tried as hard, but spent as much time as, you know, some of the previous PCCs, like the Randy one and the Hogan one, where, you know, I got the cards there. So, I don't know if I'll get the cards this time, whether it's Goldust that wins or Stardust. Actually, guys, let me know which team you're going to be on. It might be a bit too early, though, to, to say, because at the moment, we only know the top two cards. We only know that it's going to be Goldust versus Stardust, and we only know the stats of those cards. We haven't seen the other cards you get for each side. So yeah, it might be too early for you, for, you know, for me to ask you guys that, but uh, if you do already know, or if you've already made up your mind, then you can go ahead and leave that in the comments section. But uh, yeah, Goldust versus Stardust. I didn't see this coming. I didn't think it was going to be... I knew there was a new PCC coming up, I just didn't know it was going to be Goldust versus Stardust. I was expecting it to be uh, something else, you know, two other superstars. Uh, like, what if it was John Cena versus Rusev or something like that? Uh, or Randy versus Seth Rollins, although Seth Rollins was in the, like, was it the, no, not the last PCC, but the one before that. And speaking of the last PCC, the Stardust card has pretty much the same overall as Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan beats him in toughness and I think think charisma yeah toughness and charisma uh or is it toughness and no toughness and charisma daniel bryan has that while stardust beats him in speed by just a little bit and uh what else in power i think but uh yeah so stardust versus gold uh, goldust this thursday and that's pretty much it in terms of the people's champion challenge and uh, as far as Goldust and Stardust, well, you know, uh, Goldust has the power advantage. He's got the toughness advantage, but Stardust beats him in both speed. Oh no, wait a minute, Stardust only beats him in, <laughs> in speed, actually. But he beats him by, you know, a good enough amount that the card in the end, the Stardust card overall, beats out the Goldust card. By just one point, though. So anyways, uh, that aside, I did join the King of the Ring, and I did actually tell you guys in the Twitter page, or on the Twitter page, when I joined the King of the Ring, I gave you guys a couple minutes to get ready, and then once I clicked the, right when I clicked the start button to start the King of the Ring, I sent out a tweet to let you guys know so you guys can, you know, join that King of the Ring. Now, I'm not sure if one of you guys in the, is in this King of the Ring, I do know the guy that... Uh, left a comment in yesterday's video, in one of yesterday's video, he wanted to know when I was going to join a King of the Ring so he can join it and be in the same King of the Ring. I know he didn't end up being in this King of the Ring, so sorry about that. You know, better luck next time. Uh, speaking of next time, guys, by the way, follow me on Twitter, guys. If you haven't already followed me, go ahead and follow me. I keep you guys updated if maybe I can't post up a video that day or something like that, or if I've got a video planned for that day, I usually tell you guys what the video is and when it's going to be posted up and also now with supercard i'm going to be telling you guys when i join the king of the ring so if you want to participate in the king of the ring oh i just got an uh like a notification for immortals oh it just says the stamina is full anyways well back to what i was saying 
So I'm going to be notifying you guys on Twitter when I'm going to be joining a King of the Ring tournament on Supercard. So if I'm going to join one tomorrow, although I can because I'm already in the King of the Ring, I'm going to let you guys know so that you guys can try and join at the same time and you can be in the King of the Ring and, you know, maybe you want to be in a video and see yourself in a video. So, yeah, uh, go ahead, follow me on Twitter to stay updated on everything and uh, just follow me to follow me. <laughs> So, there's a big difference between my Facebook following and Twitter. And the funny funny thing is, I've been using Twitter now more than Facebook. I used to like Facebook more, but now I've taken a liking to Twitter more. So, you can find me on Twitter. And if you've got, you know, anything to, you know, if you want to talk to me, if you want to ask me something or just, yeah, send me a tweet, uh, you know, I can reply back to you. Uh, I like to, you know, reply back on Twitter rather than like Facebook private messages or, or stuff like that so anyways uh, the King of the Ring yeah so it's going good so far uh, I just finished this match against Harvey he was 2-0 and I was 2-0 and as, as well and obviously he lost so I'm 3-0 and here so I beat his epic Rey Mysterio with the Roman Reigns card beat his tag team and he beat my common card of course so yeah it's looking good uh, and as far as the previous match, David the best, obviously he's not the best because he just lost. He actually lost two matches, so, um, anyways, uh, I beat him in the tag team part, he beat me in the common one, and the one against the common Tyson Kid. and then it was, oh, Cousin versus Cousin, Roman Reigns versus, I think that's Jey Uso, and the first match, hold on, I can't check it, um, uh, standings, look at this, in the standings, uh, there's two guys with the uh, with the same avatar with the Dane, uh, not Danny Bryan Dean Ambrose uh, Survivor Fusion card. I noticed that a lot of people once they get you know the, like a new card they want to right away use it as a um, as their avatar. I've been using like some old cards <laughs> like I in, in the past I had the Danny Bryan Epic card even though I wasn't really using it that much. Uh, it wasn't my strongest card definitely not but I you know I felt like using it and then. Uh, recently, I switched it to the PCC Brandy card. Just, you know, I, I like to pick, and also uh, the card, you know, has been useful to me for, for a while. Uh, I, I'm not, yeah, I don't use it anymore, uh, but, you know, uh, it did help me out when I did get it for, for a while. And obviously, somebody else here with the Roman Reigns pick as his avatar. And yeah, the first match I had was against that guy there with the, um, with the Stone Cold picture there. Uh, he beat me here with an Ultra Air Pro, and I beat him in the Devos card. Uh, that's the great thing about the Road to Glory cards, or at least the Road to, Gl Road to Glory Nikki Bella card, is that there's not there's not many people out there that can beat you if they don't have the Nikki Bella card. I mean, they can beat you if they've got the Pro Nikki Bella card. Uh, mine isn't pro yet, so if they did have a Pro Nikki Bella, then they could have beaten me. And if they did have a... Uh, well, actually, since I do, I haven't pro my Nikki Bella. They could beat me with a Survivor Pro uh, Divas card, and also the Fusion Nikki Bella. But the thing is, since I'm ranking in the, since I join a Legendary tier, King of the Ring, where the bar, the Legendary bar, is like less than halfway, um, less than halfway into the tier, uh, the chances of them having a pro Nikki Bella. Uh, Road to Glory card or a Survivor Pro Divas card is very slim, very very slim. And if they do, the rest of their deck is gonna suck uh, in the King of the Ring. So yeah, and as far as tag teams, um, there we go. I beat his tag team, which did include a Legendary Fusion Big Show. I'm not sure if it's Max Saturn or not, but either way, still beat him. Uh, I get you know the the weak part of his tag team obviously is the Ultra Rare Pro. Uh, Booker T. I guess he thought that the Big Show card, since it's a Legendary Fusion, would be strong enough to carry the Ultra Rare uh, Pro Booker T, but I was using a Survivor uh, Roddy Pepper that I got from Road to Glory and the Hogan one from the PCC. So as you can see, the Hogan card, although it's been a while, is still useful to me. I'm still using it in the King of the Ring. I'm not using it in the Exhibition deck anymore, but you know, it, do, it does have its uses in King of the Ring, uh, especially right now where I'm trying to rank um, in the Legendary tier, but like on, on the lower end of the Legendary tier. Uh, so it is useful in uh, a lot of cases here. 
so yeah and also my survivor roddy piper is actually not maxed out it's at level 30 something i think 31 i haven't maxed it out so yeah and i think that's about it uh this is my king of the rings setup although you guys i think you guys know my setup and let me know if you actually you know made it to the king of the ring i did tweet out that if you did make it in the same king of the ring that i'm in to tweet me a picture uh or to tweet me a screenshot because <laughs> a picture could be mistaken for you know a picture like what if somebody just sends me like a selfie so i said a screenshot uh and yeah so that's pretty much it fusion chamber one day left uh road to glory I do have some points here, but it's not because I was trying to get the uh, John Cena card. It's just like I was enjoying getting six cards out of, you know, my matches. After playing a match, getting six cards instead of playing some exhibition matches to get two cards. I know the Road to Glory matches last longer. That's why they give you six cards. But I prefer that than going uh, through exhibition after exhibition after exhibition match to get two, 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 you know, cards. Uh, so... Yeah, Road to Glory ends in 40 minutes. I'm not going to try, like I said, to get the John Cena card. Um, I, I feel, you know, I feel like I, I don't need it. Uh, it. It could be useful. It could, it, it could help me out for sure. Uh, it is, like somebody said, it's the best Road to Glory card uh, at the moment. But, once again, the, uh, the John Cena card can be beaten by the John Cena Fusion card. And I know the Fusion cards, the Fusion Chamber, does take some time. Uh, it does take about a week and a half. But at that rate, I'm going to get three fusion cards every month. So, you know, right now, the strategy is uh, compete in the PCC, compete in the Road to Glory. If I don't get the top prize, doesn't matter uh, because I'm getting, you know, some more cards that I can use for the fusion chamber. Some more survivor cards, some more legendary cards that I'm going to use to get even better cards in the chamber. The goal is for me to have an entire deck of fusion cards. So right now, I've got the Roman Reigns one. I'm looking to replace every other card with a fusion card. At the moment, for this next survivor card that I'm about, I'm about to get, the survivor fusion card, I'm hoping it's another superstar card. I'm hoping it's Dean Ambrose. That's the one I want the most. Dean Ambrose, so I can team him up with Roman Reigns. If it's not Dean Ambrose, you know, Daniel Bryan or John Cena. Um, and then after I get that, uh, we'll, we'll see afterwards. But I'm, I'm, you know what, I'm hoping I get more superstars uh, I'm hoping to get Superstars first, and then I finally get the Nikki Bella, Nikki Bella Divas card. Because right now, um, I'm okay with the Nikki Bella Road to Glory Divas card, because I'm doing pretty well with it, and I haven't gotten beaten yet by another card with it. Uh, so, that is it. I don't have anything else to show you guys for this Supercard video. It's been a pretty short Supercard video. It was more of a, I guess, People's Champion Challenge video, and to let you guys know that... I will be updating you guys on Twitter and let you guys know when I'll be joining a King of the Ring and all of that. So make sure to follow me on Twitter and yeah. I'm out guys and check out the Immortals video that I posted up today. See ya.